On a rainy day here in Romney Stadium, the Aggies took to the field after honoring Merlin Olsen in hopes of picking up their first WAC win against the Rainbow Warriors. Utah State's homecoming game kicked off with the revealing of the statue of Merlin Olsen in the South Stadium entrance, made to pay tribute to the All-American Aggie player. Early in the first, USU defense held the Warriors to one touchdown, shutting down a drive for their second, safety Roger Coleman intercepts in the end zone. On offense, Kerwin Williams rushed for 39 yards on the night. Just behind him was quarterback DeAndre Borrell, who became the second Utah State quarterback to reach 7,000 total offensive yards in his career. Burrell also scored the Aggies' only touchdown of the night on this 35-yard scramble. Utah State's offense was limited to 181 total yards, including 123 passing and 58 rushing yards. Although the Aggies had a few big defensive breaks, it wasn't enough. The Warriors ran away with this one, winning 45-7. Next week, the Aggies take on Nevada in Reno. From Merlin Olsen Field in Romney Stadium, I'm Whitney Sant for the Aggie Sports Network.